This is me from before the pandemic. This is me after the pandemic. A lot has changed since then. Yes. But we're not talking about that. We're just going to be talking about anxiety, right? So that's what we're going to talk about. So if you think of this, it kind of makes sense here. That was me before. This is me now. I've changed. I'm mature. I finally got hair because back then I didn't have hair. I just had like a short little wavy haircut. But we're not talking about that. We're just talking about how I felt this past week with burnouts and things. So the reason why I felt that way, you know, or let's just talk about anxiety. So anxiety is very scary. Anxiety is just terrifying. And the truth about it is that it really is getting more more popular because of the pandemic we're, we're occurring right now. Especially with another pandemic potentially rising. Hopefully that doesn't happen. And if you realize it, anxiety is affecting a lot of people. I mean, it affected me a lot last year with the school year because I was unprepared because at the time I didn't really have my podcast at the right niche. I was just doing different things until t- January 2021, thank God for No Job Podcast, that I finally realized that Southern Poon was my main niche. Not just for that, but for everything else. I just kept on going with the flow. But, like I said, I kept on going, kept on going, six months straight with YouTube and podcasting, doing this. I just recently ended the season six finale. You can go check it out. Links down below for the podcast. And certainly, you know, for these past two weeks, since I was visiting a family member's house, for two weeks, I just kind of felt kind of burnt out, maybe, or like creatively burnt out. And maybe because of the fact that I lost my creativity because I thought, hey, maybe I'm on, you know, vacation mode. But it wasn't that. It was because I was impatient, but also not impatient, but also had anxiety because I was not really able to record the way I wanted to record. I was happy to record in a different place, but as you saw on that last video, probably last week, I think, I was in a different room. That room doesn't really have the brightness of creativity like this room does. This room brings up my creativity. This room brings out the real me. And to be honest with you, I can't really function without bright colors in a room. I mean, it doesn't have to be this room. But if I'm in another house and has a brightly colored room, my creativity will burst out. And I think because of the fact that I was away for so long, for two weeks, that probably got my brain, you know, going crazy because I'm used to working. My brain's used to doing it because when you're used to something for about, you know, doing it 20 days, it's just a repetition. And because I wasn't repeating that process, my brain just probably just... And, you know, another reason that occurred to that is because... Sorry for being self-centered, but I'm going to get to the point of that just... I wasn't really putting God first. I was really just relaxing, enjoying my time there. And not trying to read the word. Like, literally, I was disciplined, disciplined, disciplined. And it suddenly stopped. And now, as this recording, I started fresh this morning by reading my word and being disciplined. And now, I finally have the creativity to make more videos. Like, literally, I finally got my mindset on the right point. And now, I'm going to tell you about anxiety, you know. When I dreamed last night, I realized that it was about anxiety. It was also about me meeting new friends and stuff. Because I had a certain dream that talked about me getting my thing squeezed, which we don't want to hear that, and not trying to be funny, I'm just being serious, and I was like, what, I had a dream like that, and it was confirmation, because the Lord usually gave me confirmation through the dreams, that this was telling me that either a dark force was surrounding me, or trying to, like, force me to, you know, go to the dark side, something like that, there was another dream that showed that maybe it could just be me not having my old friends and gaining new ones, which did recently happen with some people that I talked to. One person, I stopped being friends with him, and now I'm starting to get more friends now, which is shocking, social media. And also it said, the dream also meant that when that happens, is that on your dream, when that thing, you know, is that you may lose your creativity. Or I think it said you may have anxiety also. And you may have a strong hate for a family member, which I recently didn't have a strong hate, but I had a strong disliked desire for a family member recently, which did happen, and also, I did feel like I lost my creativity, so that dream basically was all in one dream, and now it just seems that now I'm back into reality, I just woke up this morning, the Lord just gave it to me after I read the word that I found two more ideas to make for another video, and you will see the next video on Wednesday, but this is Monday's video, but hopefully you enjoy Wednesday's video, because that's going to be also amazing too, but like I said, It was shocking, it was amazing, but 
like I said, I'm back. I feel I'm starting back to get back to the original Brendan Brown, who's creative. And I just wanted to tell you all that that story was basically explaining anxiety. Now I'm trying my best. Hopefully I get to the point about anxiety. So basically this is unscripted. I'm just going to speak my mind, but I'm going to try to edit at the same time. Is that anxiety is terrifying. Anxiety can be a tricky enemy. Anxiety can be very evil, wicked. Anxiety don't just have to be you being getting hype all the time. It can also be a mental health disorder. It can also be social anxiety, emotional anxiety, physical anxiety. Like for example, I had a dream tonight. Or not dream. I I was sleeping at night, and literally, like literally, I was sleeping and boom. That's they say that's called hypergenic jerk. When your body just jumps because you have so much stress and anxiety, you're not relaxing yourself. And that's what I've been noticing. I wasn't relaxing myself. And now since God revealed to me through a dream and I read my word this morning, I feel more calm and more uplifting. Especially that I got my ID that I just showed you, the recent one. Because I just recently went to school to go get my computer. And I talked to some former classmates that I met, which I feel so happy to meet. And like literally, myself felt better, you know, letting everything out. And... I feel great. I enjoy it. And it makes me appreciate the school and it makes me appreciate people even the more because I don't get to go to school that much. I don't get to get out the house that much unless I'm going to the store. But that's the first time where I can actually network or meet other teens or other people who are on age with me. You know, majority of them. And just meet people in general who are adults too. And to those people who have anxiety, what I want you guys to do is this is the first thing I'm not forcing, and these are not things that I'm forcing you to do. These are optional. You can optional do this, but if this is your way, you can do it. May because it may help you. But hey, try antidepressants. If that doesn't work, or it ain't nothing about that doesn't work, we're just gonna list them all out. Try antidepressants because I heard that works. If you believe in God, ask the Lord to help you while even doing any of these things. Ask Jesus to help you if you believe in God, like me. Also, you know, get outside. If you're inside so much, get out. The pandemic isn't over yet. Don't think it's not over yet. It's not over yet because people are still having cases. I believe we're transitioning from being away from a pandemic, but it's not over yet, I think. But like I said, enjoy your fun now because I heard that new variant is coming soon. So, Or it's already here, I mean, and they say it's rising. So be careful. Put your guard up. But like I said, if that lowers your anxiety, go outside. Go talk to people. Also, if you don't want to go outside, talk virtually. But if you really have that urge, urge to go out there and talk to somebody in person, then go out there and talk to them in person. Don't stay in the house. That's what you got to do. Also, another thing is just go travel. You can travel. Plane tickets are cheap. If you don't want to get a plane ticket, do it the freeway. Drive. I mean, not where too far, but like if you're going to New York and you live in Philadelphia, go there. If you live in Virginia and you're trying to visit North Carolina, South Carolina, go down there. Visit. Do what you got to do. Go visit some close family members that are close to you around, you know, the United States. You don't have to go to a family member that's all the way in California and you're all the way in, like, you know, Minnesota. No, 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 no. But if you're, like, you know, somewhere close beyond that mark, like, if you're in Seattle and they live in California, or how about this? You live in Phoenix and you live in California, you're probably, like, a little hours away. See, do that. And also, like I said, just get out the house in general. It don't have to be specific things just get out the house for what specific thing you're doing or just get out just to get out and enjoy life because life is too short and you need to enjoy it and for me certainly I had a blast going out there that was the best time of my life that would be the best day I'll remember of 2021 you know that I went to school grabbed my computer and talked to some former classmates and just people in general because you don't get to really be in school that much even knowing I'm still going back there soon occasionally you know to go take some RI and my tests and also for picture day, which is coming up soon. But just in general, I just want to tell you guys that I want to explain my story and then tell you guys about anxiety because this is just telling you about the truth about anxiety and how my story and anxiety really affected me. So I hope you just enjoyed this wonderful episode. Hope you got something from this. I just realized I did not use my mic at all. So hopefully you heard what I said. And if you didn't, the next video will most definitely have my mic because it is right here and I did not even plug this bad boy in. So, I'm sorry audience for that. Sorry for the audio quality if it was bad. But, yeah. <laughs> I did not know I had my mic. But yeah, also, check the podcast link down below. And if you want to purchase some JBAC glasses, link is down below. 
and at checkout you should automatically have my 10% coupon code already. God bless. Goodbye.